we have a daily graphic here. It says BOG adds 7.70 tons of gold to reserves. Where nation needs emergency energy plan. This is coming from the World Bank. Uh, these and other headlines on the front page of the Daily All graphic. right, so on the Ghanaian Times, well, the big one here, dollar-dominated domestic debt restructuring. Government to exchange $809 million to bring Ghana on path of debt sustainability. Buankra inland ports ready by November 2024. And those are some of the headlines that we have here on the Ghanaian Times. All right. Uh, the Chronicle, let me give you the big one. Corruption is all over the place. It doesn't involve politicians alone. This comes from the president. And I'll give you the scripture for today on the front page of the Chronicle. It says, Genesis 6, verse 12, God observed all this corruption in the world and for everyone on earth was corrupt. Wow. Okay. <laughs> These are other headlines on the front page of the Chronicle. All right. So on the Daily Guide, some of the headlines we have here is, Adu Trum endorses Bahumia and Bank of Ghana increases gold reserves. Forest Guard goes missing to perish in mining pit. And those are some of the headlines that we have here on the Daily Guide. All right. Uh, let me give you one big headline on the finder. It says here, MPP is against LGBTQI plus in team declares and warns NDC to stop tagging MPP with it. Uh, these and other headlines on the front page of the finder. So on the Republic Press, some of the headlines we have here, I'm going to start with the big one. Amidu digs into Dampare tape, discounts IGP's neutrality, and Ken opens fire on Baumia boys, threatening to retaliate if attacks on him continue. Okay, I'm going to give you one last one um, from my set of papers. Um, this is from the BNFT, and uh, boost for oil production as first well from JSE comes on stream. Fantastic story there. Uh, these and other headlines on the front page of the BNF. All right, so I'll take a last paper, and that's the informer. Um, the big one here is don't blame politicians alone for corruption, and that's by the president, Akufuado, and House of Chiefs speak against gay activities, and those are some of the headlines that we have here on the informer. All right. Yeah. Well, it's time for Sports Review. Don't go anywhere. All right, we have quite a bit of sports this morning, and uh, we're, we're opening up with from the swimming. Now, Marlin Swimming Club emerged as champions in the City TV National Open Swimming Championship at the Burma Camp Sports Complex. Now, the club won a total of 63 medals from the 59 events that were held. Uh, Legon Sharks uh, Swim Club came in second with 41 medals. And uh, while Torpedo Swimming Club got 16 medals in all. Now, the competition was open to swimmers of all ages, and it was a platform to give swimmers another competition for them to sharpen their skills. The competition was powered by City TV with support from City FM and Spring Consult. Now, after weeks of uncertainty, Arsenal finally unveiled Declan Rice as a gunner on Saturday. Now, Rice became the most expensive player in British football history after he completed his move from West Ham to Arsenal for a fee of £105 million. The move was announced after West Ham issued a statement indicating Rice's departure and Rice wrote a, an open letter to West Ham's fans over his decision to leave for Arsenal. Rice signed a five-year deal with Arsenal and caps off a window in which the Gunners signed Kai Havertz during timber uh, and during timber to bolster their team ahead of the new premier league season in august now some transfer news some more transfer news uh, argentina forward Lionel messi has signed for american mls side into miami on a deal that runs till 2025. now seven-time ballon d'or winner left french champions paris saint-germain at the end of the season 2022-2023. Both Messi and Inter Miami co-owner Beckham, David Beckham, stated their excitement over the completion of the deal. Now, Messi will be available to play for Miami against Liga MX side um, Cruz Azul on 21st July in their opening match of the League's Cup. 
Now, with Messi being one of the most famous athletes of all time, the forward is going to have his fair share of endorsement deals. Brands that, are, that Messi endorses include Budweiser, Gatorade, Konami, uh, PUBG Mobile, Pepsi, and MasterCard. And uh, we have, finally, some tennis news. Now, Carlos Alcaraz held off Novak Djokovic to win his first Wimbledon title on Sunday. Now, the Spaniard won a tough five-set encounter, 1-6, 7-6, 6-1, 3-6, 6-4. Now, Alcaraz's um, second title, second major title after winning the 2022 U.S. Open. For Djokovic, it was his first loss on Wimbledon's center court since 2013. And it meant his quest to win his 24th Grand Slam title will have to wait. By winning Wimbledon, Alcaraz uh, will keep his number one, will keep his number one, world number one ranking. On Saturday, in the women's final, Marketa Vondur Vondrusova uh, became the first unseeded player to win Wimbledon's women's singles title after beating Tunisia's Ons Jabeur, 6-4, uh, 6-4. Now, Vondrusova is ranked 22nd in the world after missing six months of uh, last season with a wrist injury. She overcame that to win in London on Saturday. Now, the result stung Jabeur, who was hoping to win her first Grand Slam title, uh, but she ended up losing her first major, her, sorry, her third major final after finishing second in last year's Wimbledon and U.S. Open. And with that, we come to the end of Sports Review for today.